This screencast is on calculating pH values. The pH scale ranges in pH here on the left from 0, which is acidic and here's, is here represented in red, to a value of 14, which is in green here and is considered basic. In the middle is a value 7, which is considered neutral, and that's based on the pH of pure water. And pH is measured from the hydronium cation concentration. And in pure water, this concentration is 7. And here's the various uh, concentrations from 0 all the way up to 10 to the minus 14. The pH scale is logarithmic. And let's go through logarithms base briefly so that you'll have an understanding or background of logarithms which are not necessarily explained uh, in detail in the text. So if we take the log b of x or log to the base b of x is equal to n, that's how logarithm is defined and it means that the same base raised to the n exponent is equal to x. Well. The B is considered the base, and in the base 10 system, we use the digits 1 through 9 as considered the decimal system. There are, are other bases, including the base 2, which uses two numbers, 1s and zeros, and is considered the binary system, and it's what computers use, and the 1s and zeros are pluses and minuses, and that's just the charge to get something to actually work on a computer. So in the decimal system, the number 217 can be represented as 110111001 in the binary system. This is important because for pH, we use the base 10 system, which is the decimal system. And what does that mean? Well, let's look at it here. Since the base is 10, and if we take n is equal to 3, we know that that answer for x is 1,000. So that also means that the log of 1,000 is equal to 3. And we've ignored the base b here, 10, and we've actually just used 10 here for the b and that's why this works. For very small numbers, and that's what the negative signs here actually mean, they don't mean it's a negative number, it means it's a small number. So let's look at this and we'll say 10 raised to the negative 3, which is a very small number, and we can determine that that is actually 0 0.001, and all I do is I just take the decimal point over and I shift it one, two, three places and that's how I get that value. And I know that the negative log of one, and we'll put a decimal point there, one point times 10 to the minus three is equal to three. And that's how our definition of a log works. Why are logarithms used? Well, it was simpler to use a logarithmic scale versus a linear scale. If you take a look at the hydronium concentration versus pH on a linear scale here in red, you see that down in this area, the concentrations become very small and this for all intensive purposes becomes a flat line. If we were to use a logarithmic scale, where each of these are increased by a factor of 10, we get a linear scale. So the logarithmic scale actually produces a straight line. And these values here are actually very easy to calculate the addition or subtraction or division of using tables and things in the past like slide rules. Of course, now we use calculators, but interestingly, these are all based on 
the binary system and the logarithms calculated a little bit different using that system. So this is still useful today and that's why we use the logarithmic scale versus a linear scale. For the application in this class, we need to know a couple of things when we calculate a logarithm. The first is water is amphoteric. It means it can be both an acid and a base. And let's look at our conjugate acid-base pairs. We have one in purple and we have another one here in orange. And we know that water can lose an electron and it can form the hydronium cation. That means it has that positive charge right here or can gain an electron and it can form the hydroxide anion. And during this dissociation, which means we place these substances in water, and it's already water, it forms the ions, or two ions, and it forms something called an ionization of water, which means it just separates into two ions. And that's what this is here, and that's what this equation represents. And these arrows here means that this is both a forward and a reverse reaction. Means That means it moves both ways. So some of these hydronium cations are also perform, performing an opposite reaction and becoming water molecules. In pure water, the concentration of the hydronium cation is exactly equal to the concentration of the hydroxide anion, and that is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 molarity. And that gives us this very useful information, which is not discussed in the sections you are reading. It means the ion product constant, and you may run into this in your readings, which is K sub W, is simply the hydronium cation concentration multiplied by the hydroxide anion concentration, and that's represented right here. And these exponents here are simply summed, and we get the ion product constant is 1.0 times 10 to the minus 14 molarity. It allows us to do something very useful. It allows us to sum the pHs or the pH plus the pOH to get the number 14. So once you know the pH of a substance, if you subtract it from 14, you get the pOH. Let's do the math here. Here's the log of 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7, which is equal to 7, and uh, the log of the hydroxide concentration is also 7, so 7 plus 7 is equal to 14. And if this concentration or the pH were to calculate out to a smaller number and be acidic, let's say 2, we could take the value of a pH of 2, we could subtract it from 14, and we would have a value for the pOH of 12. And we'll circle that value. Let's take a look at a calculation here on your calculator and we already know how to do scientific notation and if you are using the uh, calculated recommended for this course uh, here's the numbers that you would press on the calculator and you would ignore this edx button which may have confused you and you get this display which is 1.0 e to the minus 7 which really means this and 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7 just means we've taken this decimal point and moved it over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 places. So this is not a negative number in the true sense. It's really just a way to move the decimal to the right or to the left. In calculating logarithms here, we can enter in this information on the calculator. In your calculator, you don't have to put in the base here. 
this would be the B here. Uh, this is assumed to be base 10, and if you enter this in, you get this number. If you were to use Wolfram Alpha, like this green arrow points to, you would actually have to type in the base here, which is log to the base 10 of this number results in the answer of 7. This is useful to know this always because you can run a sample calculation on your calculator and you'll know whether you're doing the process correctly to convert logs one way or the opposite way. Let's perform another calculation here. Let's determine the pH. We're finding the pH from the concentration of the hydron hydronium cation. This is the concentration. And when we type all this in, we have the calculator displaying this. We get this number. 6.3 is the number of significant figures. This places the decimal point somewhere. And the logarithm, or the pH, also places the decimal system somewhere, and that's right here. And this right here is the number of significant figures. That's how you calculate significant figures, and it's, the answer is 11.2. Let's do another problem. Let's calculate the molarity from a pH of 11.2. Note, there's two significant figures here, so it's just 10 to the negative 11.2, which is what this is here. And we get this number here, and it's two significant figures raised to uh, 10 to the minus 12. Let's take a look at a little chart here. We want to know, given this pH here, uh, is this acidic, basic, or neutral? Well, a pH of 12 is basic, and that's just by definition. And we know that uh, 12.3. 3, 6 subtracted from 14 will give us our POH, and if you do the math on that, that's 1.64. And then if you do your calculation here for the concentration of the hydronium cation, it yields 4.4 4 times 10 to the minus 13 molarity. And you can also calculate the OH concentration here on your own. Here's another example. Note that this is one significant figure. 9.6 subtracted from 14 gives us 4.4. And we know that that is acidic. And if we calculate the POH, it gives us 2.5 times 10 to the minus 10 molarity. And here's another example here. What is neutral? Well, we know the pOH and the pH are both 7, and these concentrations are both 1.0 times 10 to the minus 7. So looking at this, I've calculated all those values. The initial solutions, meaning I have started here in magenta, those are the initial solutions, and then when I've used a magenta answer to perform a third calculation, that's the secondary solution. So take a look at these and you should be able to understand once you fill out this matrix uh, how to calculate pHs and then the concentrations of the hydronium and the hydroxide ions. Thank you for watching this screencast.